All right, guys, here we're talk about the movie Big Money Rustlers. This is a story about some shit that happened long ago. 2010's Big Money Rustlers. You haven't seen this one, Lee. I, yeah, I still didn't see No, I've seen it now. Big Money Rustlass. This is uh, kind of like a part two. This is the, the Big the Money Hustlers. Part two semi prequel to uh, Big Money Hustlers. It's kind of an origin story. Um, okay, we'll get it out of the way. I have a quick analogy. Uh, Men in Black 2. Uh, was fine, except uh, everyone hated it because, like, Men in Black 1 in, you know, introduced us to this new world of special interesting things and a lot of that stuff, and Men in Black 2 was just like, I know that. Oh, look, this person's secretly an alien. Oh, look at this facility. It's, I know. I, I saw that in the first movie. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying that? Because this movie, while it is amazing, uh, it's very much just doing the, all the same things that, that the first movie did. It rises above that a few times, but ultimately I was kind of like, this is good as the inevitable part two of a double feature where you watch them both. That's what, yes. that, that's what it's for. I, I will agree with that. They're not, they're, I think they're not mixing up the formula that hard here. The right? quality is a dramatic upstep. Huge. Like it's filming like 10 years. A decade's does a lot worth of, for, yes, for just advancements and stuff. The budget is like, I think a lot. This this is a, a one and a half million. When I think it the feels, first one was like a few hundred thousand. No, it feels much so more real. Everything feels about pro. that, like having that much Huge. more money, yeah. technology's advancement. But yes, it does fall a little I, flat because it's kind of the same yeah. beats th with just a different scheme. And we'll get into more details. That being there, said, I like, would watch a hundred more of these. <laughs> okay, no, no. So like, it's so like two things. Then one, I want I want to go back in time and put them in charge of like releasing three films a year. For, you know, forever, uh, forever, which didn't happen, and, and R.I.P. and all. There that still stuff. might be a third but, one at some uh, point. They're they're talking about. They should have done it in 2020 because it's yes. like each movie's a decade in the making and just gone out there. But they Big missed Money it. Thrusters, oh! a sci-fi. I was just gonna say, what's the third one gonna be called? Yeah. That's genius. That's like Jews in Space, though, from like the Mel Brooks, like where you just hint at the at the yeah. next thing. But uh, but yes, no. At the end of the day, this was uh, it's a huge step up in all these ways. The quality mm. is definitely there and all that stuff. It's it's like very different from the first one in that regard, and it makes the first ones like jokes better in your mind because you're imagining it with this fidelity and like this quality I yeah. feel like because it's very much like a retread character wise anyway we'll get into the yeah. well day I will definitely you dive should deep watch into this it. this is it's certainly the worth watching watching a, them back to back is probably a, yes. the ideal way to do this you are required to go and watch the first one and then this one as a three hour because they, they do have a lot of like you there's a lot of correlation it. here like they even like are referencing like yeah. they know that this is what this is for it's for mm -hmm. a double feature someday trilogy fingers crossed of you know of watching Yes. Most definitely. So if you've seen this or don't care, fall over the spoilers, and if not, pull out now. If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're Cannibal Video, and we eat the competition. All right, so here we are for the spoilers of Big Money Rustlers. Lee, let me hear them spoiler-filled thoughts. Yeah, it all comes down. I can't describe my disappointment uh, to to realize that, like, oh, Viol you know, Violent J is still just this crime boss villain who talks into the camera. If he thinks he's coming between me and my motherfucking money, he thinks wrong. Dead wrong. And but Shaggy Ace, Too Dope. This is, is how we know you. Is Did you just refer to me as White Devil? This how they knew you. Leave that part out for now on. Still, and now he's Sugar Wolf instead of Sugar Bear, which is funny. The name's Wolf, Sugar Wolf, as in, if you've seen the first movie like like a few days ago and you want to like combine them into one thing but i was like oh like i, I was naively hoping that like mm. oh now there are a couple of bandits or now like you know the other guy right like maybe you a know, role reverse you know jay's the sheriff and like shaggy's the like train robber or something like, i think they're playing to their strengths it's and, fine and that they might not be as good if they were to swap the hey, roles it's not the end of the world i would say it's kind me, of funny that it's replicating it this honestly. is like an evil dead evil dead 2 scenario yes it's it's made slightly exactly. better and I think had you not seen the first one, this one would be yeah. a superior film. I guess you're right. You're fucking right, I'm right. I think I was hype like like a little too hype up here. A little too hyped. To yeah. be like, I can't wait to see what you know what happens now. Because they really only have one thing that they do, and I like that thing. I don't wanna mm -hmm. I don't want that to be lost in my criticism. But it's just like, oh, I guess if they made a movie every year, it would always just be Jay is like, my motherfucking money. In my motherfucking money.
and he's over there, and then Shaggy would always be like, well, like I'm going to bang some whore, and, and then I'm going to go, you know, kill your assassins, and then whatever. It would just always I be the same I think that is the charm. Yeah. It's a formula. Yeah. Uh, but I took it as this is a prequel, okay. and, and, like, that is who they are, like, you know, yeah. like their, their generational past you know, if you will, yeah. and and I I like that. I think that's that's funny. There's even uh, I'd say a tiny shred of proof for this in that you have your shotgun dude falls into the poisoned well, and in the next scene you see him, he has a gas mask on and stuff, and he is the guy from the next movie that takes place in the future. <laughs> he seems to be some sort of. A larger than life character that maybe he has been alive <laughs> since you know the days have passed. I love that, except for your like insulting use of the word proof in the beginning. Well, I, I, I like... think I said it was small. Okay, but that's yeah. Uh, I love that because to me, this is the character from Hellboy who's like his blood is sand now, and he's a Nazi, uh-huh. just like spets Nazi guy who fucking lives yeah. forever. That I I would love that absolutely, absolutely. I think if we were to contact them, they would say I'm right. I'm sure after hearing you describe it, they would just go with it and say, uh, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Big time. So they say technically right is the best kind of right. I'd say the best kind of right is actually is when you make a bullshit right. theory yeah. and, and the person that makes it says, oh yeah, that's it. Says that counts. Yeah. Count it. Count it. Because yeah, I mean, I I understand having the same two thugs. You need that. And, and that's even funnier too, having the enforcer guy with the shotgun. And literally he like flips the shotgun around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then in like another shot of like the past in this movie, it's the same guy and he does the same flip. Just so you know, like that's the same enforcer. Isn't just another guy with a thing on his face. It's the, the way same he, guy. T- he dispatches those two dudes yeah. playing poker, I was, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, this guy can fuck around. He does stuff. I think he actually looks better as an old yeah. West enforcer. Because, like, it, it's menacing. It, it works. No, and, and I, I, I'm not going to use the term gimp suit once, so I feel like that's a win. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But this is pretty much beat for beat, like, the same movie. Without Harlan in most Williams, ways. right? So it's, Without it's Harlan hard Williams, without the Jerky Boys. Yeah. You did drop some things. We swapped wrestlers here, so yep. I'm like, okay. Adios to the ghost. Ooh, the ghost. Everybody's so scared. Not me. Uh, that's that's fine. There, there are cameos still uh, yeah. from sometimes different levels of character. Tom Sizemore is in there you as bitch. Tom Sizemore, and I'm like, that's interesting. Hey, you're Hollywood icon Tom Sizemore. Yes, I am. <laughs> May I have your autograph? No, no. Yeah, yeah. There there were moments that had me um, that had me dying like that, or certain yeah. things you would get you you would end up in a in like a place of the movie or whatever, and be like. That's pretty good. Yeah, Jason Mewes, always welcome. Oh, yes. I, I like him. Now, I just have one question, all right? Does that include not getting shot? Oh, crap. You know, he's playing kind of a bitch character in this. Oh, it's perfect, though. There's a part Am I where... gonna get shot? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that funky smell? Am I gonna get shot? They said I wouldn't get shot, and he's just, get out of here. Yeah. It, it would almost be funny if it was like a thing like like if he would have broke because in the first yeah, movie he we broke the fourth wall a lot more. Mm. If if like and he does say I read the script. Oh crap, guys, listen, man, I've read the script and it says nowhere in there that this cowboy gets shot, all right, man? Come on, guys. Guys, come on, guys. But if they would have shot him and like instead of him dying, go, yo motherfucker, who put this squib on me? I didn't agree to this. I didn't agree this to this. Shit. And then just knock him out or something. Like yeah. that would have been good. Uh, but but Jason Mew is always good. I yeah. think that there was a part where when he died, like the same thing happens twice, but it's two different takes clearly. Is and it? I I think that they just went like it'll be funny and just like put it I, in twice. I thought it was the same take. We'll check. Maybe I it's believe not. it is it's slightly not? different. Okay, it might be. Let's play them both together. Opacity no fifty. Yes. <laughs> Let's do that shit. I love it. And yes, we'll we'll do an analysis here. Oh, crazy. Because I believe they are different takes. I thought it was so. Like either way, it's hilarious. I think it's a little funnier if it's literally the exact same take. Because he dies in front of them. He has his uh, his like death yes, scene. Yeah. Oh, cry! And then they have a whole dialogue where you like you don't see Jason Mewes. And then right before they leave, he goes uh, like, yeah. like again, <laughs> dies again. Bye, con Dios, Bucky. Oh, cry. 
No, I and laugh. That's very funny to me. There's a lot of stuff like that where I'm like, are you a genius? This can't be like like you don't appear to be. It's like when you when you bullshit your way through all the multiple choice and then you have like the essay question and you're like, oh, they're gonna know that I that I was just guessing earlier. Yeah, yeah. Because there's parts where they fumble where I'm like, well, you can't know what you're doing. But then there are certain parts where I'm like, this is so genius. You must have known what you were doing. I right? think a lot <laughs> of that were like, I think it's all yeah. like genius. Sure. I think the things where like you would say are like the fumbles or the missteps yeah. are things that are playing up to something they find funny as it's an inside funny to joke. them. It's their and own that's fun. All yeah, that yeah. matters right. because like you're making a movie that I, I think they have to know is going to sell anyway because of how yeah. just the fans they'll buy this shit like period. It's a celebration of insane clowns. It's not it's not just a film. No. <laughs> it's a celebration of the posse, if you will. Exactly. And yeah. like uh, so to continue with this cameos here. Mm. So in the first one we had we had mankind. <laughs> What the fuck is this thing? Uh, like, you know, was your, your wrestler quota here. Yeah. In this, the man who's counting off the population of the town. Oh. That's Scott Hall. I'm gonna miss him, man. I'm gonna miss him. He's a good kid. I thought he had a future. Could have been somebody. Oh, well. <laughs> fuck him. Fuck. Um, the guy who's getting his thumbs broken with a hammer. Oh, I don't want to pick a finger! I didn't want to pick a finger! I don't want to pick one! <laughs> You look so familiar. I couldn't remember who he was. Uh, I think it's Jerry Hart. Something Hart. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Please, Mr. Chips. No. No, Mr. Chips. No. 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 <laughs> uh, but like, he's a little older than I had remembered I was gonna him. Say, so that like, guy, it wasn't. Yeah. And, and I think he's still wrestling now, or, or at least has some sort of a legacy deal. He's uh, wrestling with his CPAP machine. Like, oh shit! It's, it's actually crazy the amount of people that I'm like, I'm like, no, oh the, yeah, I remember them. No, I'm the, like, what's he up to now? Oh, he's still. I'm like, what? Oh, he's still doing it. But can you believe I was on WrestleMania number one at Madison Square Garden? The guy, the, the guy doing the town population was awesome. Yeah. and I knew he was somebody. But the whole time, I, you know, I, 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 I keep forgetting the wrestler part because uh -huh. the whole time I'm like, what rapper is this? Who's this person? I couldn't place. It. I was like, ah, he's somebody. Yeah. I know he's somebody. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a rapper you may recognize in a very small role. Uh, Vanilla Ice was in there. Last one didn't make it past lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I read that after, and I was like, fuck. Yeah, he's probably one of those fucking guys yeah fuck yeah. yeah for like a second ron well, jeremy is in there yeah tim he's obvious yeah and now that that's problem always looks the same yeah yeah now i'm like oh because this whole thing is like i've been raping people for hundreds of years like oh my god stop stop ron stop what are you doing please god please, please god no cut it cut it cut it cut it that mud bug is now a town under the fucking thing of rule my, my Doug is now under the rule, town of rules or some shit. I'd say when it started though, mm. you see this old timey Fago bottle, and I was like, oh, I was like, oh shit, they've made it. This is this is because yes. the bar immediately Even got set this. so high for yes. me. I was, I was like, oh, we we were making things. This is good. And there are a lot of, they like, they, they built things here. No, no, no. Like, the production value is there. And that's what I meant by, like, it's making the, my memories of the first movie better. Because mm -hmm. I'm now thinking of the first movie in, 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 in the donut shop. But, like, they can film in the whole shop instead of just, like, the one angle that they uh -huh. had, right? I'm a donut owl. Woohoo. I hope you're not a mouse. No. Woohoo. Everybody <laughs> freeze in this motherfucker. I want some shit! Because, like, your brain is, like, fleshing it out. Because they have the whole saloon. What brings you to these parts, stranger? They have the whole yeah. horror place, whatever she is. They have the... She, <laughs> it's a TARDIS! His mom <laughs> lives in a, in, in a whorehouse TARDIS, yeah. This can't be mom's house. I what wonder... The fuck? If that is a funny reference, or if they've never heard of Doctor Who, would be and amazing. It could go either way, and it doesn't matter because that e was great. Equally brilliant either way. <laughs> because they've either, in a parallel fashion, discovered the same brilliant concept. Uh -huh as Doctor Who, or it's just like, that would be funny, I guess. Yeah, and then you go inside and it's like huge. It's like, yeah. You here for a tug? Just, just, just how he's like the, the dry, what the fuck? Fuck. 
he like, puts his head out looking like, in there, the and it's like yeah. made of cardboard. Like yeah, it, yeah. Is, it is wiggling. <laughs> it's so good because it's a little outhouse, and then yeah. everyone's waiting in line to fuck his mom later, and he's like, "Ah, my way." Fuck it, I'll wait. Hell yeah. yes. And he goes in. And his then, mom looked and, like someone famous, she's but not. I think it was the makeup made her look like somebody else. Oh, my God. My son, my only living son, has finally come home to mama. But yeah, I looked it up. I was like, I, was like, I don't know who the fuck you are. I forget her name because of how the world works, but there was some famous comedian chick who was in like a hundred movies uh -huh. who looked a lot like this. And she'd be the right age too. And I was like, oh, you're someone else. But she's still been in like 20, I think. Like Phyllis being funny Dillard or like, something like some, that. Some, yeah, someone like, like Elizabeth Taylor, like some actual <laughs> famous person that I'm just like, I don't know that bitch. But, but she looks Famous she looks ICP like, fan. You know. But that's what's kind of Betty cool White. is that yeah. like when you are, you know, a band that people like, uh, you could just have fans. Like, like I don't, yeah. I didn't look it up, but Tom Sizemore might just be an ICP fan, oh, God, and yes. he was like, "Yeah, I'd be in that." Like, or it's just like the Beastie uh, Boys had a lot of something. famous fans. That yeah, would be yeah. Like, oh yeah, I'd, I would love to be in this. Where are you coming from? Did you guys just come from our apartment? No, no, no ma'am. No, we we're coming from our friends up on the top floor. Yeah. No, I'm sure that's how Jason Mewes and certain people ended up at here. Well, Jason opportunity. also is in, in like a million B don't movies. Don't shit on Jason Mewes for me, all right? <laughs> I've seen so many bad movies just because he's in them. I can shit on him if I want. That's, I've earned it. I've, Fuck I've you. I've earned this. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm, thanks, Dirty Sanchez. You're welcome, Josh. So I really want to talk about the foot, but Please. to properly talk about the foot, we have to talk about the ghost. Okay. Come here. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck is a ghost? I don't know, man. You don't be telling me shit. And these are, of course, the code names slash, like, superhero. These are like, the ninjas name. of this movie. It's been a blast walking through all your best men with all their feeble attempts to kill me. It's almost sad it all has to come to an end. But instead of just a one-off, we hey, magic ninjas, hey, we solved the problem. Now we do it in multiple rounds. We, we, they've the learned. The video game analogy continues where these are the different they, bosses. No, but like this, you know, you know they're learning. This indicates, uh, you know, it, we're dealing with an intelligent foe. Like they've actually learned like, oh wait, we should have a structure where we call them. Because this is the homage through the hip hop angle to get to like how the Wu-Tang and they love like Kung Fu movies and stuff, yeah. right? This is like, you must fight the black dragon. It's like, what the fuck? And like, like oh, several trials that he yeah. Must yeah. face and overcome some personal some he's like learning to shoot with his other hand I think there's a samurai movie where like like his like thumb gets broken on his like sword hand and he has to learn like left-handed sword technique and says I think either like an anime or like a super old movie or a hundred things but they're like pulling from something when they do this mm -hmm. there's an obvious thing yeah they're um, like like the Wu-Tang Clan doing some kung fu stuff we some, got to be doing, there's yeah. some through line there, like the wrestling, like the other things. Uh, but the ghost is our first one. And he's like a dead man, the undertaker, and he's walking like a pilgrim and like walking all weird and you're not... <laughs> Sure White what's Walker happening. mixed with Godzilla. Yeah, like, he's like he's like just just walking, and you, you don't know what's gonna happen. It could be anything. That's how these movies work. And I at first wasn't sure. Yeah, because like the man like looks just like a white guy, uh, like powder white version of any kind of yeah. you know normal Texan cowboy thing. And just before this, I want to say, and maybe I'm mixing in my head. There's an avalanche that like like oh. goes for the guy who's going to get chilly. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I for a second was like, is that that guy coming back frozen? Yeah. Like what, no, am, I, yeah, what am I looking at? It's very out of nowhere. They plunge you in to then yeah. let you figure it out. And just as you're grasping, oh yeah, because I think there's like people running, oh it's the ghost. Everyone's like freaking out and you're like, oh okay. The ghost, go! Oh shit, go, go, go! Yeah. So now it's gonna be like draw against the ghost. No, he starts to use laser eyes. <laughs> In the most brilliant fashion, Copiously. they explode things when they hit. It like charges them up like 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 Gambit's kinetic yeah. transfer energy power. Like it's. <laughs> Did you recognize this leads to another cameo that I had forgotten about? <laughs> okay. Uh, what what's his name? Uh, Dustin Diamond is in the show. Oh my god! And it explodes. He's like, ah! I didn't even get a chance to wipe. He's and like, oh, I'm like, oh, fuck! It's screech. What the fuck was that? 
I didn't even get a chance to wipe! This screech is, is briefly, yeah, exactly. Just for a minute, just on there. Very short, yeah. Perfect. Worth Absolutely. every penny? Yeah. That because it made me laugh. I was no, like, genius. That's perfect. That's what you want out of that this. That wouldn't again. have been funny with a random guy. Yeah. But, but being him, I was like, that's hilarious. No, and that's like we're amongst friends. Jackass the movie, I feel like, is a solid analogy to what we're doing here. Because mm -hmm. you're not just making something that only the fans can enjoy, yeah. but you're making it for the fans and you're just it's an open invitation if anyone else wants to watch this. Yeah. And then like when you do, you like, you kind of understand, like, I don't know who all these people are. Well, like fine. great point, yeah. point in case here is you, is you're yeah. not an ICP fan, but I don't like, know there all are these... there are plenty of enjoyable. But it's still too. more than enough. Yeah. But yeah, if you are an ICP um, fan, like almost every actor here is in their yeah. like in their pantheon. Like there's like a thing here that you know. Yeah. Like maybe you've not seen like you know a couple of them without their makeup before, but you would know who mm -hmm. they are. You would see the credits and be like, oh shit. And you could know wrestling or like the Chicago rap scene or whatever mm -hmm. these people are from. But so 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 we defeat the ghost with a mirror. <laughs> Fine. This is this is insanity now. Now I'm like, people got powers. This movie is about like something with supernatural shit or something. I also and respect so much that the first assassin you send is the most powerful one. Is the because ghost. In yes. everything, I'm always like, wait a minute. You had a god and you were like, oh, I'll <laughs> send these other ones that could just die easily. I'm like, yeah. you knew who you were fighting a powerful foe. Well, Why wouldn't you just try to squash them? They lampshade this by having Jay go on a rant later of like, I like to test my foes. I could have killed them at any time. Yeah, yeah. I'm just drawing it out for fun. I like to test my foes. I could have killed Sugar Wolf the day he rode into town. But there's no honor in that for me. Like he has a whole rap but about that this. That could be taken both ways. It's funny, like, yeah. Is he just saying that because he's yeah. lost so much? He has to justify it to himself. I thought, but, and I was actually yeah. very impressed by this, mm. it is played to me at least, the audience member, that he cheats in, because he cheats at cards. You're playing five card draw. You got nine cards. That's some outright plain old cheat. Yeah. That, that he cheats in his draws, like for, for shooting his yeah. people during their showdown. So like, I was picturing there's a sniper in the bell tower. Yes. He's so fast, it doesn't even look like he moves. I pictured, not moving. I pictured he doesn't move, I know. but he does. We he, never get to that. It is yeah. legit, he does have honor. His draw is so fast, you don't even see his hands move. Yes. If, if he would if he would have won, he would have done what he said, and if and if he lost, he'd be dead, and he wouldn't, and his men wouldn't shoot or whatever. But because at the end of the day, ICP might be forces of evil, but they have honor. Yeah, I don't know what ICP's Juggalos lore is. Juggalos just want their shit, and they're not gonna die my until mother. they get it. And that money. that plays out <laughs> in both of these movies because when people die, they come right back. You so can't now kill a juggle. We have to talk about the foot now. Let's talk about the foot because after, like, your understanding of the foot comes from having witnessed the ghost. Yes. Because now, like, there's the foot. You don't know what this is. The foot. Oh hell no! But you have seen Wild Wild West, and you're like, okay, you, what is this parody? We have a way to access it. We do. We do. We do. But there's the foot. People are are like complaining about a bad smell before the foot even gets there. Yes. Sheriff, what is this horrible smell? I have to close the schoolhouse this morning. Then when the foot gets there, it's like the Muppet movie. Everyone's falling down. Like mm -hmm. there's like a lady who's, who, who goes cross-eyed and falls into some bales of hay or something. Just just I from him go. being in their presence. Yeah. And who is he? He's a guy in like an old timey. You know, I also thought Wild Wild West, like steam-powered wheelchair or some contraption. Yeah. It's I'm the foot. Yeah! Stop it right there, foot. Whatever it is, it's a contraption, all right? Whatever we're gonna call this motherfucker. Um, and, 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 and his foot is like up at all times. And it's gigantic. On, on it, yeah, on its own wheel. I'm the foot bitch! <laughs> and, and it's made of like foam rubber cheese, you know, fake Muppet material or something, all right? And so I, and there's a whole lead up. Oh God, what's that smell? Run away! D -d -d he's coming or whatever, he's coming, he's coming. And I start to think like, okay, the ghost had laser eyes, all right? So the foot, they're obviously making this thing. He seems to be killing people just by being 10 feet away from them, right? Uh -huh. So now someone's trying to stop him. Someone's trying to confront him. I guess he's like a toxic. He's going to infect them. He has, he's, he's, he's like corrosive. There's some 
you know, all, all these words about him. He's, he's like noxious, this like person. And that's going to come in. I'm like, oh my God, are they going to do like, there's like something between his toes or there's like a pimple that he pops and it like squirts the guy and he melts into a skeleton. What's going to happen? He literally just rams people with his foot and they fall down. They fly. But that's it. He's just ramming yes. them and, and he just runs over a guy. <laughs> The whole, the whole toxicness never comes into play, and it was destroyed. But no, no, no. But that's brilliant. You don't understand the roller coaster that this movie takes you on. Do you want to know what this? I thought was going to happen? Please. So I was picturing something totally different. <laughs> I thought this is just the vehicle for what the foot really is. I pictured the uh, foot was going to be a thing kind of like... Like Guado. Yes! That's exactly <laughs> what I pictured. Okay, okay. And, so, and little hands would come out, and he would draw on so, people. Okay. So I thought that the foot... I was, like, looking for a seam. Does it have, like, a mouth that opens? Because, okay... I left out one critical detail. The whole time the foot's doing it, they cut back to the foot. They cut to all these real looking scenes of people with handkerchiefs like, oh no, what's that smell? Oh my God, what's that smell? You know, running Did away you wash from your them. balls? Yeah, you know, fleeing away. All these, all these funny things. And every time it cuts back to the foot, he's like, I'm the foot, bitch! <laughs> I'm the foot, bitch! And yeah. he's just, and that's all he ever says, I think. He says a little more. But Pretty the, much. But, but he keeps saying that repeatedly. So yes, I thought, oh, your skull is just empty. It just has cobwebs from the foot parasite that's yes. now in charge. And the foot's going to have eyeballs that open up and then a big toothy mouth like the foot. I'm the foot, bitch, is going to come out. And then he's going to fight with that somehow. He's going to be like punching this uh, foot on like a big, <laughs> this big like like neck. I wanted so bad this Martian face with yeah. little hands to be like, like, oh, he's just just my fucking, what do you call it like when you have a twin that's attached to you or whatever? My vestial twin, yeah. <laughs> yes, whatever the fuck. Like, he's in charge. Yeah. And that's why this empty-headed, you know, moron-looking dude just keeps saying, I'm the foot, bitch, yes. and doing all that. I thought it was perfect. And yeah. honestly, yes, it could have been better, as we're saying, but... Like, oh, it worked for what it was. You're left in this absurd wasteland at that point. And while you're trying to recover is when this Tom Sizemore from like the chili guy and the horrors and all the things. And you're just like, oh, like what am I watching? The ghost was that. And now the foot's just a guy with a foot. This makes no sense. It's it's like, it's 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 really it, it's really effective in like ripping away all of your connections to reality. Yes. So you're just left there. I ain't afraid of no damn foot. You well, know. and in like direct contrast to our first movie, where where we have a, a large love interest. We have mm. what might be the smallest love interest in this. Yeah. And so what I learned from watching this movie. I can't wait to turn that little muffin out. <laughs> And seeing, I think it was the Wikipedia or whatever, that 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 little lady, uh, yeah. you know, the little lady's fine, the, the little person, uh, she is an adult film artist, oh. uh, and the woman from the first movie was also an adult film artist. Is there a connection? So I didn't know that going in. Uh, I didn't know that about the first movie. So I'm yeah. like, oh, okay. So that well, that's the thing. So we're pulling and, in this yeah. other niche audience to watch. No, your no, movie. and and we're well, and Ron Jeremy too. Like yeah, you're yeah, crossing yeah. over. These things all cross over. A hip hop rap battle into a wrestling match into to some like sex tapes where it's very like this is all one this is all one party that that, yeah. that, that we are attending uh, later no it's uh, like like it this is keeping the joke going of like uh, Shaggy's character picking and here there wasn't this lineup where it's like yeah. ho the hottest girls ever and then he's like looking down oh you I want you bitch but like the, you know the same joke is there that he's wasting all of his time with this unlikely whore somewhere yeah. for his character it's there like is, perfect while there might not be the like like stripper dance lineup there is like a chorus line where they're saying don't put your pecker in my butt or something like that oh yeah or something was that it? But I wouldn't Was, was, was that the line? Yeah. I heard the in my butt part, but I didn't know if they it were was saying pecker like or what pecker away from my butt. Yeah. Or get that. It was something pecker and butt were, were in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live entertainment. Yeah. Uh-uh. No way. Get away from my butt. I do miss the good old days when you could just declare yourself the sheriff of a town. Hey, at your service, Sheriff Frederick Freckles. At your service. Wrong. There's a new sheriff in this town of Mudbug. Yeah. Like in the Wild West. Exactly. No, yeah. big time. And like, I think it was played like, like, 
the moments in you know in between the jokes or in between the extreme set pieces of mm -hmm. both these films are like serviceable. The conversation is fine. Yeah. And they, like you know, like the characters are wacky, but even like the, the like the way the dialogue turns and like the pacing is really really good. You are my friend. It's your family. But thanks, Dirty. But I'm not in this for myself. I'm in this for the legacy of the wolf name. Mm -hmm. And they didn't work with the same director. I think that I think it's them. <laughs> I think it's Shaggy. Oh yeah. It, I think it's, it's them it's controlling. The and like, exactly. There That's was crazy. somebody who added I think he, they said the original script was like 40 pages and with the director or whoever else came on, they added like another 30 pages to it. Okay. So like flesh it out, you know, to make it an easier feature That's length on paper rather than have to rely on a lot of uh, okay, and then we do this like type yeah. of things, which I think is also their strong suit because I I they said a lot of a lot of lines were improvised again, so like that's yeah. something that they're just funny people. We're treated to at. the same, you know, montage of outtake ad lib. Bitch, so your joke ain't funny. <laughs> I couldn't think of shit to say. When he gets hit like in the, the end dick of in the outtake, yeah. that made me laugh. And she's she, like, she says oh, no. like, oh really? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like so concerned. I was like, oh, she's so earnestly like concerned or whatever. I like that. Did I really do it? Yeah. Oh my God, no way. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yeah, cause like he says like, you're gonna be the, you know, I'm the new sheriff now, give me that badge. Now as my first act as sheriff, I'm giving you a promotion <laughs> to be my yeah. deputy. Like it, 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 it doesn't feel like Deadwood, but it doesn't feel like and I see P like cowboy movie. That it feels is like funny to better me, than it's like, like yeah. me making you my deputy is a yeah. promotion because how fucking awesome. That's I am. no, it's fuck you. It's good dialogue. And that guy is like somehow this like, okay. shouldn't be alive, covered in cobwebs, like And there's something wrong with this character. <laughs> Wake up. Oh. Oh. Here, take oh. your pistol, dumbass. Oh, thanks, Miller. <laughs> I couldn't put my finger on it, but I'm like what is there? There's some there, there's something problematic about this portrayal. I don't know what's wrong. Well, with he's them. literally only allowed it's, to live as the sheriff in this town because he is inept at being yeah, the sheriff no, no, and no. makes you know our boy. But he's laugh. like he's making a face, and his like delivery feels to me a way where I'd be like, what are we doing with this character? Can we, can we tighten yeah, this up a little bit? Yeah, it's offensive a bit. But I'm not even sure exactly how, and I and I and I'm not going to choose to articulate it. We'll just play a clip here demonstrating the fact. What does the deputy do? That this, something's not right. We shouldn't no. <laughs> Is Mario here? <laughs> Who the fuck wants to know, pal? A joke that is like, you know, famous in the friend group or something at least I repeat a lot is New York City! Well, this stuff's made in New York City! New York City! He gets his chili from New York City! And I like, like I was... do like that they, they say that. Was that because like, of me? Or is that just so you Oh, that, that was just. Alright. A commercial I loved. No, I do that exactly the for the commercial. And yeah. when I saw it here, I was like, oh. New York City! That's right, New York City. The Big Apple. The city that never sleeps. I guess we're in the same demo as ICP. Yeah, it's the same way that like I would add in on my joke. BFF Jill joke. It's just yeah. a commercial I know a lot and something no, I reference. Just... Yeah. Who are you texting 50 times a day? I decay my BFF Jill. Hit at the right point or whatever. And yeah, I too have spent years struggling to integrate that joke format into my normal conversations in yeah, life. Roll that beautiful bean Be footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. A lot of people want to know what makes Bush's baked beans taste so darn good. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Some think it's our specially cured bacon. Did you make fun of handicapped people all the time? Come on, man. You make fun of handicapped people all the time? Another shot for me, my compadres. So I have to say, the funniest scene to me is is it, it cuts to like, you know, big baby chips and, and he's getting bathed by a geisha. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, okay. Now scrub me. That's kind of funny because it's random. She's like using a broom, and it's like it's clearly her like barely wants to touch him because it looks like it's a probably like a firm bristle broom. Like, no, he you've doesn't gotten irradiated. I have to scrub yeah, you. Yeah, he doesn't want to be touched either. No, yeah, no, it's definitely. But like that's funny. But what yeah. what made me like actually laugh aloud is he offers her a cigar. He's like you smoke, bitch, or something like that, and he, and and he like pulls out a cigar and she leans in for it. And he's like, get back to scrubbing, get and he doesn't, he doesn't doesn't give it to her. Yeah. Get to scrubbing. That's funny, because no. I wasn't sure how many times that scene might have played out. 
it gave me a vibe of like, oh, the three times prior we filmed this, she puffs on it twice. But that time, he like yanked through her face. Like, it looked yeah. like she was shocked. No, it, uh, and that's, and the absurdity, like, it's not technically that absurd to have geishas there. No, yeah, I think also, I've learned that that's a thing. But it's also extremely absurd. And or like, oh, we kind of know how to make a cowboy movie, which I'm like, how is that possible? How yeah, can you no. possibly? And just to be clear, like, the part with the foot also destroyed my brain and made me laugh so hard. When he's being dragged behind by you know by his foot now yeah and he still says i'm the foot bitch like while he's being yeah. you'd laugh now yeah. no it's so good I'm the foot bitch. i i i like literally was laughing these are talented filmmakers <laughs> i'm but like, like yeah. not blowing any smoke up no I, I i i would like to yeah. see more that third movie that's no make that fucking movie those are the are like the beats that like literally that you know that's why and and I feel like that's the, you know that's the perfect way to phrase it is like you need to make at least one movie a year like from from now on you're in charge of make just pick like a even topic, if you like yeah whatever. even if you want to be secondary characters yeah. just like spitball the idea no, listen bankroll it to do with the same quality you they'll, have here and they'll you're do get something funny they'll do five of these then they'll be like we should branch out and they'll try some other shit where they play different characters mm -hmm. they'll partner with not the jerky boys anymore but some new shit maybe some internet people who are funny who knows something will happen I would love to you because you now have put the idea in yeah. my head from earlier mentioning it yeah. them and like the jackass guys no, making it's a movie perfect. together would there's be very so many, funny and there's other wrestlers there's other things or whatever and that, that superhuman yeah. guy who like throws himself at microwaves fuck this shit <laughs> I want him in there in a cameo. That's what I'm saying. Make it happen. This is for jugglers and jugglets. <laughs> so the third assassin, though, we would be remiss if we don't mention it's a triplet now. The you know the ghost, the foot. I don't know what the name of the third assassin was supposed to be, the, but the the I cunt. Take your position. I don't know. <laughs> so um, he's been shacking up with this tiny whore. <laughs> Turns out to be a tiny assassin. Well, if you want to sleep so badly, how about taking a dirt nap? It's funny, because he's like, we had sex. Because like, just earlier, in this, there, there's a montage of them making oh love. Oh! Uh, making love! And, and it, is, it is, yes, it is this guy yeah. who looks kind of like the little guy in like the Logan Paul videos. It's not him. Stop, stop. <laughs> it, the, the age doesn't line up. Yeah. But, uh, well, there's also, it's very, because you only see this character, I think, right? Unless you see it incidentally, but you only see this character wearing the dress and yeah. like the hair from the back, the ponytail and everything looks like her hair. It like, well, I was like, what the f oh, fuck? I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker! Oh. Fuck is happening. Yeah. This is pretty good. And, but he well, has might like, be a wig on both of them. I don't know. That's true, yeah. But but either way, it's it's so consistent that I'm like, wait, what? Like, this is a decent... Because sometimes someone goes... <laughs> and they're an entirely different person. It's a little weird. Yeah. But here it was like, oh, shit. And then... Oh, yeah. Like, you know, but he has like a dirty beard. He's like, ah, yeah, we had sex. Fuck you. Name's not Tate, fool. The name's Tank. And, that was the only and, part and, I liked. Yeah, that's the only part I enjoyed. Fuck. And then, like, they have a whole fight scene. There's a whole thing. And that which fight then, scene cuts to the kind of bullshit we like, where it's a dummy yeah. and he's just hurling it about. You sick bastard. <laughs> yeah. You call that uh. punch? So there's, like, a fight scene inside where it's, like, real. But then, yeah, the outside scene that you're talking about is straight up. It's just, uh, yeah, Shaggy, just keep beating this dummy. And then they're, like, It drags on rolling. so long yeah. that, like, I'm, like, all right, maybe take a bathroom break or whatever. But then, like, it kept going and yeah. it got me laughing. He says, like, put some glass in your neck. <laughs> now I'm going to stab you right in your midget. Not the face. <laughs> I'm going to make sure your little bitch ass is dead. Uh, let this be a lesson. Uh. This is delicate, and I will always be super fair. It, it's very delicate to get the timing right. And I remember being like, this is borderline. I'm not sure if it's... Okay. And then... And then what saves it for me is that it is uninterrupted. One shot. Yeah. He's just beating up this dummy in all these dumb creative ways. And then as soon as they cut to a non that shot, it's never the dummy again. And it's just always the guy. Yeah. That's who's what like in a hole. I made it say. say it's like he's buried uh, up to his shoulders and has a fake back because he's stamping on his back. Yeah. yeah, yeah it has yeah. to be a, a fake. Back. They're doing a fun. But yeah, he but says from that something point, it's and like, I don't know if I made it better in my head, yeah. but like he throws the dummy and he's like the first time you'll touch a ceiling. Yeah. So I dare you. Get your bitch uh, ass yeah. uh, onto the ceiling. Uh, my scalp. No. Uh, and I don't okay. know if that's exactly what he says, but in my head he says that, no, and that's very funny. 
could be, you know, because like they are, you know, he's doing it and they're recording like the grunts and then they came back and ended yes, a pass later where they both just, you know, hey, maybe, you know, like, you know, maybe they're watching it together and they're just trying different lines and yeah. they're just like, ah! And then just making noises to have it fit in the thing. And that's like, you can tell, but it's also like very funny. Well done. It, yeah. it works. Because yeah. they're not, it's not trying to be passable at all. It's no, just no, no, funny. No, no, no. Yeah. I ain't done with you yet, you little fuck. It must be that Friday because you getting straight up. <laughs> Two more cameos that I almost forgot about. He got uh, JJ Walker and, and Brigitte Nielsen are in there, in, like oh. in like a very tiny thing. Calm down, kid dynamite. <laughs> Which I imagine is because they paid them for like one hour or they were in the area the or whatever money. happened might be. They were already filming in the Wild West town over there for something yeah. else. And I said, hey, $20. And they came over. Piece of candy. Yeah, they lured candy. them this way. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. When the shotgun guy, like, teleports by just walking past a cactus. I'm so glad you mentioned that. I was, like, debating, is that worth its own, you know, moment here? 100% but yes. It was something like, now we shall see how my assassins fit. And then it was like, and he goes behind the cactus. I was like, this is pretty good. Let us not forget my third assassin. The wickedest and deadliest of them all. This is Looney Tunes. This is pretty good. That's the kind of stupid shit I that stands it. out for me. No, it's great. That's what you need. Because you need that around everything else. Because there's parts of this that are, like, earnestly a thing. Yeah. Like, if it wasn't violent Jay with all his fucking makeup on, like, his face and his body and reaching in and then pulling out the bloody fingers and kind of being confused and dying, I'm like, that looked like a real death in a real movie. Are you fucking kidding me? It wasn't like, it was not a joke joke. The joke is that it's it's Jay. Like, like, like there's no other yes. joke there. But, like, I'm like, this is good. This is fine. This works. Fuck. That That is half the genius, though, is, is never referencing like you know the makeup. yeah it's just the makeup whatever. actually gets like when they're making out it is like that was like, so funny. across her face <laughs> but like they cut back to like childhood scenes and it's a child in the makeup with the makeup like on. it is his, just that's his, who the character his, is his mom has the own version of the yeah, makeup yeah. well sugar you know that i sent you to live with your aunt may when you were only four yeah and there's a little funny thing of like, is it you? And I'm like, I think it's fucking it's obviously. It's, what the fuck? Mama? Oh, oh Lord, Sugar? Sugar, is that really you? But that's <laughs> so good. <laughs> really, can it be? I'm like, who else would it be? It took quite a while to notice. What the fuck? Take it off. Uh, he gets shot in the hand, as you mentioned the thing. Like that okay. effect. The third assassin. Good, like, you know, he looks through a thing. It's obviously just fake hand, but but like you know, a practical effect. It worked. It didn't have Completely to do that. Completely serviceable. Movie wouldn't have done that. Yes. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah. Ah, I do that. But the hand stuff that I have to mention is him slapping people. Oh. That is one of the most beautiful, funny yes. fucking things. It's like the mask. It looks fucking fresh, don't you think? No. <laughs> Now, what the fuck was that for? It's like, you know, probably just a stick with a hand on it. And it gets used, though, so perfectly because he's smacking people from, from such distances. Yes. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear what? It, it's like one of those things you get in, like, an egg machine where you're like, ah, oh, I can steal your dollar from it, across the table. It was deployed early and often. I get it, man. You got your pim pam back. in a way that you thought the joke was, we're not gonna reference how it's impossible, he's, he's too far away. Yeah. There's a point where he's on a ladder and someone heckles him and he goes, shut up, and like slaps the guy. Yeah, you probably ain't gonna want his hat anyways. <laughs> it's gonna be riddled with holes. <laughs> And then it cuts to the wide really quickly to like establish like, no, he has supernatural like slap. That hand, yeah. He's slapping through time and space, goes into pocket dimension and slaps you like and then he's back. Like if he were a knife like, wielding man, he would be unstoppable. Yeah, it's like Dalsim of slaps. But but it's only for slapping apparently, yeah. which, is, which is funnier and stuff. Well, his pimp but, hand is strong. But then later, when they're in the prison cell and he continues to slap people for so much, where they go, what is even happening? <laughs> Just wait till Big Baby come in here and light your ass up. Oh my God, stop slapping us! <laughs> How is this happening? Oh God! And like, they are like, oh! They're like so scared of, of like the hand coming back and hitting them. And he's like, that's enough. 
does a little mm, like get him like it's like, like the scene in basketball though for a moment because yeah. at some point you, you you can see that large ass hand and it's so good. <laughs> Oh, because in the mill, he's like just rubbing their faces. Yeah. Like, you okay with that? It's okay. Does that hurt? Oh, doesn't that feel good? No. You don't like that? Huh? You don't like that? Oh, oh, oh I put a on it. Oh. Okay, I got the son of it. And he, he like starts hitting them again and stuff. It's great. It's so good. Little jokes like that. Yes. And there's enough of them peppered in that I'm like, no, they're very funny. Like they know yeah. what they're doing. No, like, like again, like, there's something... The first movie had more of this vibe, and this movie really doesn't, where it's like, it felt like they filmed it in order, so they were realizing the jokes, like, then. Maybe. But here, it feels more like, okay, wait, wait. Maybe because it's all... You know, maybe it could be, you know, because they had access to an Old West town, so they could actually be like, no, 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 no. Later, you know, later, you know, once we film this, he should be slapping already. So that way, it's like, oh, he's slapping yeah, the whole yeah. time. Whoever... Th th those extra 30 pages might have been slipped in every... I'm e sure. Every second or third page, just yeah. to be like... Like, we should probably have him establish this. Yeah, set up some payoffs. And, and do a nice... Because, yes, it's doing better setups and payoffs than, like, half of the normal, like, $100 million films are doing. There are a it's bunch so of references to, to things that don't exist based on the time period the movie takes place. Oh, but yeah. the best one is when they called it out with that phone call. I was like, yeah. I got a phone call. Phones ain't even existed yet. What the fuck? <laughs> and what's up on my motherfucking phone call? Bitch, they ain't even invented phones yet. And, and do you think that that, that that was a mistake with an ad lib response or it was a canned no, joke? No, I think it was written. I okay. think it was written. Because they're in jail, right? And he's yeah. like, you didn't even give us our phone call. And he's like, because I expect them to be like, what's that? But instead he literally just says, phones ain't been invented yet. And that's where you're like, oh God, it's so, it's like such a good, you have to figure out how to make it funny in there, right? You have bobbing the, and weaving. You have the core of the joke, which is like, he's asking for a phone call in the old West. But you could go any way and they find a way to make it nice. And, so yeah. much of it like works because they're just, they're friends. Like, yeah. like it's just like, you know, like, okay, you might not be the best actor, but you are able to do something to try to make your friend laugh here. And mm. if you have a competent person filming it, that means you're making a good movie. Like, if, yeah. if you can make the guy in the room laugh and someone is a good cinematographer, that's going to translate. Looking good. Come on, feel the burn. Come on, now show me something, man. Show me something. Oh, my. How the fuck are you doing that, man? <sighs> No, that's honestly, because, like, at a certain point, it's real laughter. Yeah. So you only need to figure out where to cut. And <laughs> yeah, then you're done, right? So, yeah, it's like, okay. <laughs> I want to mention something that's a little kind of like problematic almost. Oh. Because I'm going to have to use words, but just go with me. It's fine. Please. His name is Sugar Wolf. Yes. And he does a howl thing. And that seems to be a source of power for him. <laughs> and he has supernatural slap powers. So if part of me was expecting like, oh, they're going to do the trope from the cowboy movie where it's like, yeah, they call him Lightning Fist and he's this thing and that's, I got my name from a shaman and they do all that fucking bullshit or whatever. And they don't do that. He just bumps into some like, you know, like Native Americans at one point. Oh, hey, oh, what's up, man? Hey. Yeah. But they're like, hey, and he signs autographs, and like that's it. There's no other like like connection, right? Well, of like his so history. I think this is genius. Yeah, because it's potentially not that at all. Right. So like, so he bumps into these people that have the makeup. So it's like, and then these two people that want their hatchets they're, signed. Hold on, I got your back. Uh -huh. Tomahawks. So like the yeah. hatchet man is the ICP symbol. Oh. So like these could just be ICP fans that he ran into out, out in the fucking wilderness. Because the one guy is wearing face makeup that yeah. kind of looks like could who just are be the juggalos. Shaman or the things. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. But it feels like it's doing the dances with wolves where it's like, oh, I can see you that. You know, he's like coming back to clean up the town, but he's been out there and he's learned things. Not just the things you've learned in your Wild West mm. town, Jay. He's been out. He, he knows what mushrooms are safe to eat and he has inter, you know, interdimensional slap powers and, and therefore I'm going to go on a spirit journey. But they just tap lightly against these random dudes that he I think into. that is the joke. It's yeah. like you aim it, like, look yeah. over here and then this is the fucking thing. Like, no, but like that but requires... But on a whole another level because yes. of them 
them, like, you know, it playing the, to them just the, being fans. Yeah, like, the bar is called the Hatchet Man, too. It yeah. seems to be a thing. Yeah, exactly. But that's what I mean. Like, to know enough to be able to steer wide enough to make it funny that you've avoided that joke, yeah. I think is, like, amazing. And speaking of jokes, there's also, it's kind of lowbrow, but again, it goes on for so long, and it's more ambitious, and I think they, they kind of nail it, is the, like, jerking off, like, misdirect. Oh, the butter. Where you, <laughs> Naturally, I mean, that's what it does, you know? That's what happens when you make good, delicious butter, you know? Ends up being butter churning, but just the dialogue, and then you see in the outtakes too, because the dialogue is like, "I'm gonna get this all over you. It's gonna be smooth, it's glistening off so your good face, going down your mouth, whatever. or whatever." Yeah, it's gonna do, it. and then like it's this like slow rotational pan over. That looks good. Oh, I like the way that looks a lot. I can't wait to spread this across your buns. Yeah, that's it's gonna be great, man. I can't wait to taste it. It's gonna be delicious. And he's because this is part of the training montage yeah. to use his left hand for everything. So exactly. he's churning butter with his left hand like and this. And that, that would be from funny behind and on stuff. its own, honestly. Yeah. If like if that was his training, it's like oh, yeah. offhanded, this will this will build your dexterity. Just, just to build the the strength so you yeah. can fucking shoot with that. It was just impossible. It's crazy. It's crazy. But <laughs> little jokes that that re like require like yeah. a little effort, but are only on the screen for like one second, are usually my favorite. Yeah. And he had like just kidnapped a woman. They've made sweet love and it pans across the fire and there's like a charcuterie board. <laughs> oh yeah, bitch. Yes. And I am just like, this is fucking gold. That scene's wild. Where he shows up, he runs into like a homesteader family and they they're like, Do you want the horse? And he's like, I want the I want your what and this is still where it's like dubbed in over the after the fact dialogue where uh -huh. there's no sound on set it looks like and he like picks up this one. Because there's it's kids, like, so they're not gonna curse in front of him probably. And it's like, Do you want the wife or something? And he gets this wife. Whoa, oh. What? The horse? Hmm. And there's a whole scene where they do they make love? I don't they know. Do. They, How do you know? They well, they're that's what they're doing at like by the fire, and then I, like he well, leaves they, her, and she's like, "No, don't leave me." They're making out, but then she, but but like you know, she's crying, fully clothed again, and he's leaving. Why are you leaving and stuff? So I thought they were making out, and then he was like, "Later, bitch," and just like well, left. they started making out at night, and then it was the morning when he left. So it was, I, I no, guess it's it was it was still at night. It looked like. <laughs> I don't think so. Then it cuts to the morning after he's 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 been he's been riding the horse. It might be bad like day for night or I think, night for day or something. I think it's supposed to be the morning. But I like hope so. that line of of like like bye children, come bitch. Hmm. Me? Oh my god! Thank you so much. Bye, bye children. Come on, bitch. That had me laughing. It was pretty good. Because yeah. this is, we're still establishing the character and he's just out on his travels. He isn't sheriff yet, right? No, This no. is just what he does That's when he's guy, out there. Yeah. But I laughed. I, I wasn't going to say... I wasn't going to say char chartreuse board or whatever, because that's like the platter you buy when it's like, oh fuck, we're doing the everyone's coming over tomorrow to watch the game yeah. and we don't have any food for them. Oh, it's like it's like a pile of crackers and a pile of this and like vegetables and, and dip in the middle or some weird thing like that. Grapes in the middle, I believe, and it's very funny because they even think once they pan back up to like, oh, time has passed. A lot of it's gone. Yeah, because I think that the motherfuckers on set ate it. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Anytime there's Absolutely. food on set, that's the food you ate. And then you just have some grapes, like, ah, spread it out, make it look like there's some stuff still there. Hmm. Wor worst scene for me was, like, a horse pissing. I was like, this wasn't funny. It's just, like, the dick grows out of the body, it pees. He's like, buttercup, or whatever, and the, p the penis goes back in, and he rides away. How did I miss this horse pissing? There's a lot of horse butt shots. <laughs> Like glory horse butt anus? shots, yeah. There was one and shot. That kind of made me laugh because it happened more than once. So okay. you're like, that's not just a weird thing. That's like something you're doing. I noticed it once, and I was like, this has to be intentional. Oh yeah. This camera person has a fetish, or it's in the script and it's a joke. One hundred percent intentional. But listen, yes, I'm like, what the fuck? Why are we so tight on this horse's anus? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to CannibalVideo.com, pick up some merch, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. Get out of here! But I'm your biggest fan! I've seen all your films! I don't care!